welcome to Cyprus. We arrived late last night from Lebanon, picked up a hire car and arrived at our hotel. We are staying in Pathos. Yeah, you might be wondering why we've come to Cyprus from Lebanon. Yeah. But uh, also planned on this trip, we're going to head to Israel and it's not actually possible to fly directly from Lebanon to Israel. So Cyprus is a perfect little island hop yeah. that allows you to it's only an hour flight to Cyprus from Lebanon and then another hour back to Israel from there. So we thought we'd take a few days and explore the island while we're here. Yeah, it's a new country for both of us. So we have no real route planned or road trip. We just have a guidebook from Lonely Planet and a GPS and we're just going to hit the road and see what Cyprus has to offer us. So join us as we explore Cyprus. So we are starting off the road trip by heading into the center of Cyprus towards the Cedar Valley. And we've just passed by kind of two monasteries and now we are heading to Pano Panagia, uh, which is just before the Cedar Valley. But so far the roads are really nice. You're kind of winding through um, the rock here. It looks some great bike roads, isn't there? Yeah, it's <laughs> really good bike road. Yeah. Just a short little drive from Paphos there. We're already pretty much in the heart of Cyprus. It's a small island, so you can reach everywhere pretty quickly. We're just about to head towards the Cedar Valley. Check out the trees. This is our little car for the next few days. It's a little Kia. So we are now entering the Pathos Forest. Little danger sign on the way in. Uh, this road looks incredible. I can show you. It is, let's see. Just pure switchbacks and windy roads through the forest, and that's heading up into the Cedar Valley. I think we're getting an altitude quite quickly on this road. They're quite steep, these roads. Really yeah. steep. We've been driving on the Cedar Valley Road, haven't we? Yeah. I think we've been on it for about 45 minutes to an hour. It's been a really nice drive. Lots of little tight, twisty roads. It's a really calm and drive. It's super peaceful up here. I think we've only passed like two or three cars all morning. And it's a perfect location to get away from the chaos <laughs> of the holiday resort. Yeah, I mean, most people come to Cyprus for the beach, but why not come for, for this? The forest, Pathos Forest, yeah. it's incredible. We've passed a lot of hiking trails as well, which I think would be a lot of fun. And I'm not sure about the camping rules, but also camping could be a lot of fun oh, in yeah, the Pathos Forest. Maybe camping could be an option here. But yeah, we're heading towards the, the sea again, which I guess you always are on an island. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's but not, we're, not too far away. But we're, uh, yeah, I think we're about two hours away from the sea now, so maybe to bang in the middle of the island. Pretty much in the uh, and there should be a good vantage point a bit further up, but the car's doing great, isn't it? The little Kia. I think it's only a two-wheel drive, isn't it? Probably, I think so. It was, was uh, We're struggling a little bit. <laughs> there's only, um, but the road conditions are good and there's just a few like fallen rocks on the yeah, road. Well, quite a few actually. Yeah. <laughs> these roads have been really awesome. We've had them completely to ourselves. These vistas and views that you keep getting around each corner. It's really, really nice and um Yeah, we've been passing through Campos and to Sakar Tria. We've been to Mount Tripolis and now we are heading towards Kato, um, right next to the UN buffer zone. 
Um, and then, yeah, gonna head to the coast now. We've got a little plan in my book. <laughs> Always me with my guidebook. We had a nice drive there through the Cedar Valley Road. And we've come to this little high point here. We just about see the sea behind us there. That's where we're heading now. But if you just look over there, we can just about see the UN buffer zone and just sprinkled across these mountain tops is a few military watch points. So it's quite a sensitive area today and it has been for the, well, the last at least 50 years. So we're gonna to have to be a little bit careful as where we go. Um, the car isn't actually insured if we cross through the UN uh, buffer zone, but you can rent cars on the other side if you want to explore that area, which is what we might do in a day or two. But for now, we're gonna head down to the sea, see if we can find something to eat and maybe stop at a supermarket because we didn't get any water. and. Driving through the Paphos forest, there's been absolutely no services and no uh, petrol stations or anything. So getting rather thirsty now. So we're going to see what we can find down there. Should we go pick some oranges in Cyprus? All right. Cool. Look at this. Check these out. Wow. Just... There we go. There you go. I just picked, I've never picked an orange off a tree. Have you picked an orange off a tree no, before? No, 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 no. Yeah. They smell great, don't they? So smell I'm not buying any of these this trip. Should I get two? There's one just here. I'm sure you've all seen an orange before, but here's a close up anyway. <laughs> so most people come to Cyprus for the beaches, but most people only see the ones in the south. So we're in the north of the island at the moment. And as you can see, it's a lot more rugged than the yeah, south. A rugged and untouched. There's not many hotels or, or even shops, actually. We're still looking for a shop of some <laughs> description. It's very windy here, but it's absolutely beautiful. And you have this place a little bit more to yourself here, which is really good. Yeah, definitely more our vibe than the south. Yeah. <laughs> So we're going to cling to the coastline now and head back down. Down towards yeah. Pathos again. Probably a few hours, maybe oh, maybe two, probably less actually. It's only a small place. So we'll see what we can find. Maybe there'll be some more restaurants or shops on the way. Hopefully someone wants to buy water at yeah. this point. <laughs> I'll settle for like a, a fuel station. You've had, a, you've had two free oranges. I have so had two free oranges. Maybe you're a lemon next time. <laughs> So technically right now we are in the UN buffer zone, just behind kind of Sean over there is um, kind of a base maybe? Yeah, a little instalment from there. Uh, and we are surrounded by goats, which is lovely. And you can kind of see as well, as we're following this road up, uh, there's a few more uh, pillboxes and other things, but that's where we are on the map. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, is that it's a 
this the end of the road? Oh, it's a military base. All right, so if you're thinking of hiking up here, this is what you will be rewarded with. <laughs> Quite a few like really disappointed tourists. Yeah, he's got it. Do they want to lift down? Oh, okay. Maybe maybe we pull in just just down there and see if we can see uh, the view. They're gutted, aren't they? It's a beautiful view though. It is a nice view. It is just not really a vantage point. Actually, get to the top. Maybe in that village, Trudos is is where people tend to stop, not to drive up here. As you say, normally it's covered with snow. But let's get out anyway and have a look. They got it, those people. Uh, <laughs> I think they've had a couple of hours to be stopped at the very top. There isn't really a viewpoint here, it's just a military base. So, if you hike all the way up on Mount Olympus, you'll be stopped before you can get to the top. Fortunately, you're in the car, so it's not really a bother, but you know, you can't really see so much. Some nice trees and some nice hikes. A couple of hikers there, rather disappointed. We might offer them a lift on the way back down. Do you need the camera? Can you take some pictures? <laughs> what, <are> the wall? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go down to the Trudos, to the Trudos market. Maybe if we can find some coffee and tea. After the disappointment of the summit of Mount Olympus, we've stumbled across a giant black pine tree sign. I have like, um, zero. Um, he's very eager to go and check out this pine tree. So oh. My hopes are very high. Is that it? I think there, that's it there. Huh? That is a pretty big pine tree. Well, that one's big too. Which one is it? Here it is, 500 years old pine tree. It's, it's pretty big in fairness. It's very big, yeah. Makes me sad that people have carved into it. Yeah, it's quite disrespectful. Now I'm peeling a cup of tea in Trudos. Cup of tea. All cup right. of tea in Trudos. And then head to Nicosia, see the capital. Well, we're crossing through the buffer zone there as well. Yeah, we should do. Hopefully we can. You got the passports, didn't you? Just about. I had to go back <laughs> for them, so I got them. Viewpoint attempt number three. You missed the park in the last one, so let's see what this one's like. Oh, Em's already out. She's very keen on this one. I'm eager. <laughs> It's actually lots of stone around this. It's like quite a green rock. I don't know what it is. It's quite looks quite nice. It's a nice view. Oh, the road looks epic. That looks a good road, doesn't it? Looks like fun. Actually, I have to say, um, Cyprus has got some really good bike roads here. Yeah. I think you could spend you could spend weeks actually riding all these roads. There's so many options. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of in the centre. There's a lot of twisty mountain roads. And then you've got the coast road too, so it's kind yeah. of a biker's paradise, really. I think you've got lots of off-road bits to play on as well for people. Oh, other than the speed limit. Yeah, speed limits are quite low here. Most of the time it's like 50 kilometers an hour, or and on the motorway it's maximum of 100, but most people do about 120, 130. Yeah. But the police presence around Paphos is quite high, but for the rest of the country I didn't see many. No, one maybe in the mountains near Mount Olympus, near the yeah, military areas, but when you're out, up in the mountains, there's not much presence. Not, not that we're encouraging speeding. No, not that anybody <laughs> speeds anyway. But, uh... All right, let's go to the next location. Nicosia is a city that's divided in two. There's the Greek side and the Turkish side, and we're here and we're going to have a little look at both of them. We've got our passports with us so we can cross over the buffer zone. Yeah, there's two apparently crossing points. Uh, one is on Lancia Street, 
Street, which I think is down here. So let's head into the, uh, into the city. So we are heading toward um, Lancer checkpoint, which is right at the center, basically, of the of the two halves of the city. Is it pretty much split down the middle? Is it 50-50? Pretty 50 -50? much. Ledra Street, which is kind of the main street in Nicosia. It's full nice of bars. Yeah, our side street shooting up. It's yeah. very nice um, facades, actually, from the past. Yeah, I think we read that they were Venetian, right? In the Lonely Cut Planet yeah, book. Apparently 16th century. Great Venetian. <laughs> um, but we're actually using the Ledra checkpoint to head into the Turkish um, area. So it should be just down here. So we're just about to pass through the security control here. So we're just going to get our passports through. We're going to turn the camera off now and get through to the other side. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? That was it? a painless was really process. Just a quick passport check. I think there's another one on this side, but it seems pretty straightforward. It seems pretty straightforward. Really cool. Yeah. I don't think you need a visa, but maybe check. I don't know what, depending on what passport you hold. There's not much difference. Passport control was easy, and now we're going to explore this side. Hopefully, they have some good back there because that's my favourite tip. Yeah, just got to make sure you go to both controls, yeah. otherwise, it's quite big fines apparently if you don't. I think we're going to go this way. <laughs> We've gone for the all-day breakfast. I'm glad they're still serving it because it looks absolutely fantastic. It's so good. Enjoying that, Em? Mm. No, you're quite hungry. I'm starving. <laughs> that cheese is amazing. I think she makes it herself as well. This is such a cool place. That was so Good. How good was that? Oh, I really enjoyed that. Um, <sighs> all of what we had and drinks was 20 euros. It's an absolute bargain. Yeah, two drinks a starter and two mains for 20 euros. And such a cool location, even though it's a little bit uh, out of the way from the city. Oh, here's the tourist <laughs> train coming through. <laughs> Will we ever catch you on a tourist train, Sean? Well, you did once already. <laughs> Here it comes. This one's a musical tourist train.
<laughs> All right, let's find our way back into the city centre. Oh, they look like they're having fun. They did look like they were back. having fun. We follow it. Uh, yeah, actually, let's go. Yeah, I think they're going the right way. We are just entering the Boo York Han, I think it's pronounced. This was originally built as a place, basically a hotel for travellers to stay in. And it has 68 rooms around this lovely square courtyard here. That's absolutely fantastic. It looks like it was heavily destroyed, but it's been restored. Pretty much perfect condition to how it was. side of Nicosia. We went to the Boyacan, which was definitely a highlight for us, a really cool location. And now we're going to head back into Cyprus and drive on. So let's go. All right, we are finished with Nicosia, is it? Nicosia. Yeah. Gonna head back to Paphos now. I think it's a two hour drive. Yeah, pretty much. We're gonna drop down, head the coast road, but I'm pretty sure the sun's going down in the next hour, so we it won't is, see yeah. too much. So we'll catch you all tomorrow on day three of the road trip. <laughs> 